How's it going guys? Oliver here from WinBeta and today I'm going to be talking about gapless playback on Groove Music in Windows 10 Mobile. Despite countless cries to add this incredibly basic feature and being at the near top of every single feedback wishlist, Microsoft has, in between its annual music service and app rebrandings, stubbornly refused to add gapless playback to its mobile music offerings until just a few months ago through an update for Groove Music. You'd be forgiven for not noticing this feature has been added, because other than a small banner that was briefly shown after the app update, no other notice of the feature's implementation is seen in the app. The reason for this is simple. Now, everything is gaplessly played back. There's no way to turn it off, not that you'd have any reason to. In my experience, the feature works pretty reliably. Occasionally, there will be slight micro stutters between tracks. <laughs> which isn't good, but it happens so infrequently it's hard to pin down whether I'm genuinely upset about it or not. What I am upset about is what appears to be the feature's rather crude implementation. During the last 5 seconds or so of any given song, Groove Music suddenly enters the Bermuda Triangle. Any attempt to coerce the app's tracking in this zone results in vomiting rainbows. It will forcibly change to... wherever... on the next track while simultaneously stalling itself. What happens next is anyone's guess. It could be stuck there until I pause and replay. It could continue playing after hesitating for a few seconds. Or, very often, it could just completely eviscerate all of my Lumia 950's audio capabilities. For people like me, who love rewinding songs and listening to certain parts, this is very annoying. But for most people who just hit the play button and pretend to do intense workouts at the gym, this will likely never be a problem. I don't really know how to feel about this situation. On one hand, I'm glad Microsoft's getting its feedback game together and is checking off these long requested features. On the other hand, is it really too much to ask Microsoft to get the most basic of basic features working without fuss? Either way, gapless playback is here, and most of you will enjoy it without reservation. I'll just go cry in the corner while spamming the feedback app about my first world problems. Oh. 